In an unknown place amongst the cosmos, Vostag and Lady Sif is escorted to meet with the Collector. The Collector emerges and greets his Asgardian guests. Lady Sif offers him the Aether, but the Collector inquires as to why not keep this powerful artifact within Asgard. Lady Sif replies, It is not wise to keep two Infinity Stones so close together. The Collector accepts the Aether, and after the Asgardians left, the Collector says, One down, five to go. Across the cosmos, a ship lands on a planet who is notorious for its black market. The hooded stranger arrives at the marketplace. The stranger crosses the marketplace and into the casino where would-be thieves attempt to mug her. She puts an end to the attempt by slicing off the hands of the would-be mugglers. The patrons of the bar enter the melee and attacks Gamora. She cuts them down one by one. The collector presents himself and stops the fight. As he invites her into their private room, she walks right past him knowing all along that he is a hologram. As safety, the Collector chose not to meet in person with the deadliest woman in the galaxy. The Collector offers Gamora a job to retrieve the orb for his collection. Gamora explains that she is aware of the orb and that Ronin the Accuser is after it. Gamora does not trust the Collector but trusts Ronin even less. Gamora agrees to gather the orb for the Collector but only if they meet in person next time. The hologram closes and the Collector ponders to himself. The stakes are high and he isn't the only one after the orb. As many groups prepare for the hunt, things will get interesting in the galaxy. How's it going guys? Welcome to Comic Island and today we are looking at the prelude to this summer's Marvel movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. This short comic prelude was quite interesting. After watching the Guardians trailer, we learned quite a bit about Star-Lord, but this comic continues right after the end credit scene of Thor The Dark World. We already know that the Collector wants these Infinity Stones and I'm guessing that this orb is considered one of the six of them. So in the comics, they are referred to as Infinity Gems and consists of space, mind, soul, reality, time, and power. When socketed into the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos gained immense power and dominion over everything. So in the cinematic universe, they are called Infinity Stones. We know that the Tesseract Cube is one of them and is held in Asgard along with the Infinity Gauntlet shown in Thor 1. The Aether that emits the Red Mist is now in the possession of the Collector, and the Orb will be the third Infinity Stone. It is not revealed as to what the last three stones are yet, but this tells me that Marvel has huge plans for upcoming Marvel movies that leads to all these stones gathered and socketed into the Gauntlet. So Gamora, the deadliest woman in the galaxy, is working for the Collector. This is quite the surprise to me. I'm guessing she has not yet met up with the rest of the team, so does this mean that the group will be created during the movie? Plenty of questions left unanswered and this prelude keeps me extremely hyped for the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Anyway, thank you for watching my review of the prelude to the Guardians of the Galaxy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.